give me a second here to show you by opening a browser session we can start by going for the defender 365 that basically uh, administrators start by going to admin.microsoft.com which is representing the m365 admin center consolidation view for an uh, m365 uh, subscription for the users licenses uh, management for example teams roles to associate the billing overall setting for the tenant setup and health report uh, of course we need to have a particular high privilege role to access to this admin center is not for every user from the organization but i'm using a global administrator for this one so i have permissions to perform every uh, change or to read everything or to also accessing other admin portals on right now there is multiple admin portals some some of those portals are specific for uh, managing a particular core service from M365, like the Exchange Admin Portal, the SharePoint Admin Portal, the Teams Admin Portal, and so on. Now, the Defender for 365 is another consolidated view from a user interface that correlates all of the security information about or M365 subscription and directory. So basically, we will find out down to the admin center, we can display show all of the admin center access and we can click under the security option to open the security.microsoft.com portal. Uh, again, we need to sign in with a privilege uh, role, basically. The global administrator can, security administrator can also access to this uh, different admin center. And we are going to start looking at a consolidated view of uh, a home that is including a dashboard uh, they are giving us the welcome for example and there is a left vertical menu that with different sections on it. the general sections of the home incidental alerts trigger by the application context the identity context the endpoint context and so on or from the cloud if we are using defender for cloud the option for going hunting and starting running some um queries from templates or we have the possibility to create our own queries for going for the proactive investigation for example uh, we can access to an action center which is representing a consolidated view for the attack uh, spending or alert spending or the history for it we can go for track analytics also to display some information of the latest threats high impact threats numbers of ransomware detected phishing vulnerability activity group and so on learning hub and trials if we keep in scrolling down we will find a different section for example this is going to be the section for the endpoint protection or the uh, defender for endpoint options where we can go for searching device inventory vulnerability management partners and apis evaluation and tutorials and configuration management all these options taken from the uh, from the source of the defender for the endpoints basically and there is the section of email and collaboration on it where we can find out the options policies and rules uh, threat trackers review explorer and investigations associated uh, to the email and collaboration service threats and alerts basically on here we can be redirected to the agents admin center for going for a message stress testing or to conduct an attack simulation training that we can use a series of templates for creating on a wizard or on a system uh, an attack simulation and we can specify one or multiple of our users mailbox then to test the security controls that we are using if there will be detection if there will be automatic reaction or if there will be alerting and notification for users for example and then keeping down there is another break section option with the general reporting audit the health status permissions and roles settings also we will find out that at close to the bottom there is a more resources option on because there is other user interface portals that we can access for example from this microsoft 365 defender user interface we didn't show up the microsoft cloud application security which is a separate portal, uh, a focus on the application, uh, incident detection, investigation, and response, basically. So 
That's a separate user interface. That's a separate portal on, that we can find out into these little cards that are representing different sections for opening other portals, like the Azure Active Directory portal, Azure Identity Protection Options, Compliance Center, Information Protection, Security Center from Azure, or the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, basically. That later, on an upcoming lesson, we are going to access to this one. But this is the overall 365 Defender. It's a consolidation of multiple security options from the M365 multi-service and that we can use for as a consolidated view of our security posture from all of the services associated to identities, to devices, to email and collaboration, basically.